You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering liposuction. My first guest is Dr. Eugene Nowak. Dr. Nowak, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for having me. Now, liposuction, hot topic, uh, and you do a lot of it. Lipo is what we specialize in. Okay. And it is an amazing procedure. It's come so far in, in really the, the short time, the last few years, have really made some, some big steps towards getting people better results, faster results, safer results and it's nice because they see the results very quickly. Okay, now you're doing what's called uh, thermal lipo, uh, and that's fairly new. Thermal lipo you is new. You were the first we guy to do it in San Diego? We are the first office to do it in San Diego, and it's really taken two procedures. It's taken the safety of a tumescent lipo sculpture procedure, and we're adding the skin tightening of a thermage. Thermage okay. is a radio frequency. It, it heats and tightens the collagen support network of the skin. Combining the two, we can get more tightening for people, uh, get them a smoother result, get them a quicker result, and, and make a, a big difference for now, them. Now why is it you like lipo? I, you know, I ask you that because uh, you know, we've, we've done hundreds and hundreds of shows now, what, well over 800 episodes, and, and, I, and I think I've met two, and I told you this, about two other doctors that like liposuction. Why do you like it? They say it's tedious. Well, it, oh, it's definitely tedious. It's definitely a physical procedure, but the results are amazing. And it's, it's really, you can't replace these results with anything. There's so the happy, happy patients? Oh, absolutely. The, okay. the, the people coming in when they look at their, their picture and they say, are you sure that's me before? Because I don't remember do looking really like that. they really say that? They, they say absolutely that? do, they absolutely say that. And we tell them up front that they're going to say that and, and many of them say, oh no, I'll remember. <laughs> but you get about six weeks, the pictures, we like to take pictures about six weeks afterwards. They've healed enough to where we can see the difference. But they, they're starting to forget how they actually looked. Okay, liposuction, is it still the most uh, popular procedure of all cosmetic procedures? Of all cosmetic procedures, it's still number one. And, and it's, it's still growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, women, by far, are the, the main um, treatment area, but men uh, are also coming in for the procedure. Are they far? And what is it, about 50, 50 or 70 percent women? And it's probably about 85, 90 percent women, and it's okay. probably about 15 percent men. So what's changed over the years with liposuction? Uh, we've talked off camera. You say it's safer today than ever. How so? It, it really all came about with the tumescent procedure. The tumescent liposculpture, it, it takes away general anesthesia, it takes away the sedation, the risks that are associated with that. The people literally come in, they get some medication to relax them, the rest is done with local numbing medicine. So the patient's actually awake and alert, they're talking to us. So they're not us. out? They're not out. Okay. They're, they're there talking to us during the procedure. We ask them to move and turn, they're able to do that. They're up and they walk out of there under their own power. So who is the typical patient that comes in for liposuction? The typical patient, uh, it's really a broad spectrum. Uh, the procedure is opened up to so many different people. It's anywhere from people that are having a reunion, they have a wedding coming up, uh, someone that just wants more shape and contour. The, you know, classically you have a, a mother who with the, the, the trauma of pregnancy has lost some of that shape and contour, wants to regain some of that. We have people that are active, we have people in the military that work out every day but have lost that shape and contour, find that they're just not able to lose weight as quickly as they used to be. Uh, and we're able to, to make a big difference for them. Men, like I said, come in, they want the, the little love handles taken down a okay. little bit, or they want to work on the, the chest, or don't feel comfortable. We have people that don't feel comfortable wearing clothes that fit tight, that have, sh that have shape and contour that's hiding there, but it needs to come out. Okay, what areas of the body are you doing liposuction? I mean, what's the number one area? Well, the number one area would be across the midsection, and, and we really try to do as much as we can to make a big difference for the patient. So we would include the abdominal area, get into the waist and the lower back area. We'll try to come up and, and taper into the little bra fold area. And, and that's a really probably, you know, a big concern for women. And we want to get into that some, but we really want to take more from the waist. We really want to bring them in, bring down that shape and contour, bring out what they have hiding underneath there. Okay, arm. I mean, I guess any place that has unwanted fat. As we tell people, what you can pinch is, is what we can take down a good portion of that. You know, the, the midsection would be number one. Arms and legs would be probably the number two area. After that, people might come in and say they want to work on the, the neck area. Knees? I mean, do you ever do knees? Absolutely. Is that Absolutely. right? So we can do, we try to contour from the inner thigh right down to the knee to try to bring that down to get as straight and smooth of a contour as we is can. Is it true that uh, you're getting a fitter group of patients? that are coming in for liposuction? Yes, I mean definitely, you know, we have anywhere from the people, that I've had marathon runners come in and they just have areas that are stubborn even though they're in even great shape. Even on a shape. marathon runner? Even on a marathon runner, okay. they're in great shape but they have certain areas that are stubborn and sometimes it's a genetic hereditary thing. Like a little saddlebag say, area? They'll say everyone in my family has that even though I'm in, you know, the lowest weight I can get, I can't lose this. 
Um, anywhere to that, uh, like I said, someone that's just had a couple children and is looking to regain that shape and contour. Okay, now what about the upper range, uh, age range of patients getting liposuction yeah. that you see? Well, it really depends on the, on the health of a person, and we do a, a pretty thorough uh, health history, do extensive blood work to make sure they're the healthy person that they appear to be. Um, the safety, like I said, we're not putting them under general anesthetic, so that we do have some people that couldn't undergo that procedure that can have this. But in general, fifties. I mean, I mean, people in the fifties, sixties getting liposuction, even into the sixties. Um, okay. Absolutely. Will the skin bounce back? Um, the skin is actually very elastic, and and it's really a combination. The the lipo procedure takes the the fat or the weight off that area, so we can bring that skin up, and it can shrink a lot. Um, in addition, someone has stretch marks, has wrinkling or rippling in the skin. We add something like the thermal lipo, the adding the thermage to get us some of that skin tightening on top of that. And their skin will actually tighten for up to six months after a procedure.